It is a sustained introduction of a catheter um, through the bladder in the urethra for the relief of urinary retention or um, completely emptying the bladder. Obtain treatment card from the nurse and check with doctor's orders to save time and effort. Bring the equipment to the bedside table. Check lighting source. Next is identify the patient and explain the procedure and need for the patient to keep knees positioned during procedure. Describe pressure sensation that will be felt during catheter insertion. Patient will feel reassured if the procedure is explained and if she is handled gently and considerately. I am your nurse for today and can I ask what's your name please? Grace. And your age? 13. Okay. So, um, during the proced our, our procedure for today is catheterization, which is indwelling catheterization. Kundi in my insert ko sa um, catheter, kundi in ang ginagawaan sa muhi. And then, um, during the procedure, kinalan mo lang i-position kung, kung ano pag position tas ang TL mo ka ron, ang mula na in-paste lang muna kay para hindi ma-interrupt pa natin yung procedure. And then, um, during the procedure, madyagang kagad niya, um, uh, slight sensation na kung diin um, kung kaysa dis may discomfort and sakit man siya. Pero, um, it is tolerable man. Okay? Okay. Screen the patient to provide privacy. This reduces client embarrassment and aids in relaxation during procedure. Place bed in high position and lower the side rails on working side to promote Use of proper body mechanics. Okay, Miss, um, pwede ta i-position at until kung diin i-bend ta lang sa damay. Place patient in dorsal recumbent position for female. So, this position provides for good visualization of the urinary meatus and perineal structure. Drape the patient with top sheet by assisting the patient to side near you. Loosen the foot part of the top sheet and use the anagonal draping and expose the area in the premium. And this is to avoid unnecessary exposure of body parts and maintain client's comfort. And then provide perineal care if needed to reduce the presence of microorganisms near the urethral meatus. Place tray between ties facing foot of the bed to provide easy access to supplies during catheter insertion. Adjust drop light by using the flashlight. This permits accurate identification and good view of urethral meatus. Place waste receptacle at an area near you. Wash hands for Asepsis. Open the sterile pack by grasping its corners and open it with care, touching only the underneath sides and edges. This provides sterile field and to prevent transmission of microorganisms from table or work area to sterile supplies. Bring edge of cover under buttocks if able. Let doctor open the pack of sterile gloves to put on gloves. This allows the doctor to handle sterile supplies without contamination. Observe sterile technique in offering pack of towel and withhold for draping to maintain sterility. Place an adequate amount of lubricant over the non-dominant hand after the doctor cleanses the urinary meatus. This allows easy insertion of catheter tip through urethral meatus. Instruct client to breathe through the mouth while doctor inserts catheter to the urinary meatus. Relaxation of internal sphincter aids of in insertion of catheter. Okay, miss, please breathe through your mouth ha ka insert na ni dok ang imo catheter. Okay?
Place distal end of catheter in sterile bowl to measure urine volume or attach the drainage bag as indicated. Collection of urine prevents soiling of client's bed, linens, and allows accurate measurement of urinary output. Collect urine specimen if needed. Fill sterile specimen container to the desired level by holding end of catheter over the specimen bottle. This allows specimen to be obtained for culture analysis. After that, the doctor removes straight single-use catheter slowly and removes straight. This comfort the client is minimized and prevents the transmission of infection. Position the client in a comfortable position and put the bed in low position with side rails up to promote comfort. Then discard the equipment in the utility room to prevent the transmission of infection. After that, wash hands thoroughly to reduce the spread of infection.